Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about DevOps. So let's get into it. So the question in question was Frederick, uh, it was actually posted on a video I made, why do DevOps engineers make more, make more than software engineers? And the question was, uh, Frederick, I feel like being an application developer first is a better before you go into DevOps. I am intentionally avoiding DevOps self-studying for another year. Do you think that this is a good approach? Uh, so this is uh, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because in in general what I say is because there's another flavor of this sort of question that I've had a few times where someone asks me oh I want to get better at language A should I study language B in order to get better at language A? And I usually say no. Uh, this reason is very simple because the amount of syntax you know, like just because you know multiple languages, doesn't necessarily correlate into more skill in the language that you want to get good at. It's very similar, as I like to say, uh, to traveling. Traveling is this intangible thing that is really hard to describe. It has a, a holistic wisdom um, uh, effect on people and that's usually the way it goes with diversity the more diverse you are the more holistic a picture you have but that doesn't necessarily correlate into hard coding skills in the scenario or something like that it's it's a very healthy thing to do and I am a strong believer in uh, being a, in understanding that your personal wisdom and development is down to two studying approaches. One is to study very deeply on the things that are really important and then have a high level understanding of many concepts like deep versus broad and to pair those in a good way, right? Now when it comes to DevOps it's a little bit more tricky because fundamentally the thing that you need to figure out is how good do you want to be at your job? That's really what it comes down to, uh, because unfortunately DevOps is one of those big holistic terms where it can mean literally anything. It's very similar to, oh, I work in IT support. What does that even mean? Does it mean that you're a system administrator or does it mean that you took two weeks of introduction to an internal system and you mostly handle tickets that come from like users who want to know how to shut, uh, how to fix their printer, right? Uh, and the skills in between are the thing that matter. You've heard me say this if you've watched my other videos related to titles and stuff like that, where a, a title is just a vague term that tries to describe to the best of everybody's understanding or the skills that are sort of required. But at the end of the day, what matters is the actual skills that you have. And if you work in IT support or if you're a DevOps engineer or something like that, that title means nothing if uh, you can't do the job. You can call yourself whatever you want, but if you can't do work with the tools that the specific company who is using that title is actually looking for, then it doesn't matter what you what word we use. DevOps, and it's just an abstraction. It's like any abstraction, it's a generalization. So when you start looking for DevOps roles, you will find that the, if you just search for DevOps on the job postings, you will find a lot of titles uh, where if you just look at the skills, like the, the tools, some of it's going to be common, some of it's going to be vastly different. The thing that I want to address with this question is that I personally believe that this is a very good approach for you to become a fairly good DevOps engineer. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that this is not because I think that you should be an application developer in order to be a DevOps engineer. Uh, I'm saying that DevOps is an advanced role. And what does that mean? Well, uh, this is my definition, but an advanced role is a role which requires an enormously high experience level to be good at. That's what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, I don't believe that there is such a thing as a competent junior DevOps engineer. Uh, I don't believe that there's a competent dev uh, junior anything in operations, just as I don't think that there's a competent anything uh, when it comes to juniors in, say, security work or hacking or pen testing and stuff like that. The reason why I don't believe that is not because you can't be a junior hacker or like a junior something something, but what I'm saying is that if you are a junior software engineer, now the sphere of things you need to do or the, like which is within your responsibility and the requirements on you as a software engineer as a, at a junior level is actually fairly low. 
if you compare it to ops as an example it's very similar to uh, the difference between like how much in law do you need to know in order to be a policeman or like a police officer versus being an, att an attorney versus being a judge like uh, you ha uh, in order to, for you to become a judge it's uh, does that make sense it's a higher role than being an attorney or maybe than being a police officer in in my world devops is the same sort of thing if you want to be effective at devops you can absolutely i mean you can get a devops job by just taking a course and studying to become a devops engineer but the reality is that you will not be as effective at it as if you started off as a software engineer and then transitioned into the role the reason being because the operations is a higher level well, at a lower level, depending on how you want to look at it, of application development. And it's similar, it's the same thing that I argue needs to happen in management overall. If you want an effectively run software company, you cannot hire a non-technical manager and hope and just pray that they are going to be able to do the right thing. The ideal thing that you need in order to hire the right people and manage them and, you know, help them set up architecture and stuff like that is an actual master level programmer because that person knows the work. And if you know the work that is underneath what you do or above you depending on uh, you know if you have that perspective you will be much more effective at the job that you do and the same thing goes for devops engineers i can tell you right now guys the number one complaint that i hear from uh, i've heard in every major company i've worked at and like that is the most common complaint is that the it department is incompetent uh, and I'm not talking about the software developers now, I'm talking about just ops, uh, people who are working in supports and so forth. The reason being because a lot of companies hire, like this is an, a very big area of outsourcing where you just try to save on cost. And of course, you then get subpar people in the tech support who basically know nothing about anything and can basically not help you. And that churns everything down to a halt. So what I'm saying is that you can skip like be, being a software developer and just jump into DevOps immediately and you go with that, at it that way. But my personal belief is that uh, if you want to be an effective DevOps engineer, it's a bigger role, a bigger responsibility, or rather it's something that will require a higher level of experience to be good at. Unless I'm literally, unless you're literally just going to learn the basic logging tools and telemet uh, telemetry tools and like all this basic stuff, and then never know anything that is underneath. It's the this is guys, this is honest to God. DevOps is it's the next iteration that is trying to bridge the fact that the system admin, this purebred sys admin or the purebred ops person, can no is no longer a sustainable way for IT companies to run their systems. There, the, the, the gap is there and people want to bridge it. That's why they're creating this hybrid role where you're like ops but developer at the same time because people are realizing that uh, it's actually so complicated to get this thing right that you kind of need a, univer a more universally holistic type of person than someone who just went to school to study, I don't know, network administrating or something like that verse, uh, and, uh, verse, or, and somebody who's just about the coding. It's a hybrid role. And it's the same thing with security. If you want to be a good hacker, I will tell you that every single hacker out there will tell will basically say the same thing. There are a lot of tools that make it easier for you to do certain things, but being a real programmer is invaluable because it's that level of understanding of a system and being able to create your own tools and like all this other surrounding stuff. It becomes so much easier if you have an in-depth understanding of software development. And I argue that DevOps is the same thing. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, I understand, I mean, I wouldn't say you have to wait on with learning DevOps for a whole year just because you want to focus on something else. I think that you, I, I personally believe that you should always follow passion when it comes to knowledge, uh, because knowledge, uh, knowledge that you don't want is knowledge that you will forget. Uh, I, that's why I believe that the education system is doing as poorly as it's doing overall, because we're focusing on teaching people things that they don't care about uh, because somebody decided that that is important rather than trying to figure out a way to, to tap into people's uh, interest and in organic retention and things like that. That's the thing that is actually the difference between someone who makes something of themselves and somebody who just went to school, usually. Uh, and I think that uh, you should think about this the same way. It's very good for 
future DevOps engineer to understand software development, uh, I will argue that it's the same for me. It's the same thing as being a front-end developer. The best front-end developers are full-stack developers, and I believe that the best uh, DevOps engineers are have been at some point application developers. Have a great day.